Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I was only willing to pay $2.50 for Critical Mass. Critical Mass is a $5 game, and it comes to us from the Australian group, a three-man studio called Manic Game Studios. Critical Mass is the only thing that they've done to date, but they are working on something called Project Icarus, and Project Icarus is supposed to be a multiplayer space game. And I don't know what the hell a multiplayer space game is, but I hope it doesn't suck, because I really like games that don't suck. Critical Mass doesn't suck, but it does frustrate the hell out of me. Let's start off by taking a look at the options screen here, guys. I want to show you this for two reasons. Number one, I think this is a good amount of options for this game to have. Resolution, the ability to go full screen, a simple visual quality selector, and the ability to turn V-Sync on or off. This game is not a uh, graphical thrill ride, so I think that's a good amount of options to have. They're not bogging down the development process by putting in a lot of options that you don't really need. The ability to turn, you know, anti-aliasing off and trilinear this and that. Nah, don't need it. Just a simple visual slider. But the main thing I wanted to show you is colorblind mode. Now, this game relies on your ability to distinguish colors. And if you can't do that, Either you can't tell one particular color from another, or you can't see any colors at all. You can't play this game. So it was very, well, thoughtful, but thoughtful isn't the word. Thoughtful makes me think of a Hallmark card. But uh, there was some forethought put into the idea of, of this game. Hey, this game relies on color recognition. Let's make a colorblind mode to help out those who cannot see it. So essentially, while they were developing the game, they managed to not alienate any of their audience. In advance so that was really cool because uh, this game could have sucked for a colorblind individual and uh, really been completely and totally unplayable yes indeed we have achievements so oh, we all love achievements don't we let's go into the game modes here I'm gonna go into meditation mode first because meditation mode will kind of allow me to introduce you to some of the concepts of the game then I'll show you a couple of quick games in the standard mode Meditation mode, you basically have a uh, hundred blocks and you have to build combos. Uh, this game is about lining up four of your blocks in a row and scoring a combo. That's it. That's the entirety of what this game is about. It is about creating combos. But as you notice, this game functions in three dimensions. Okay? That is something that you will need to remember. That is something you will need to, in fact, master. And sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm not. So you can see the colors coming in here, the different colors that we have available to us. And uh, what you're going to notice is that I'm going to start to try to build combos that will allow me to actually loop together more than four blocks at a time in a normal puzzle where you start out with a shape and you have to reduce that shape to nothing it's often easier to score multi, multi combos but in meditation mode where you're building from the beginning uh, sometimes you can have some difficulty getting those multi combos in so here's something I'm gonna do here let's see we'll sacrifice this orange bloke to try and create an interesting yellow you just don't want to work with me here, do you? Give me a yellow. So this is one of those games that has a very simple concept, and it puts that concept right out front, and then it basically challenges you to master that simple concept. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, I think, and, and I really, really enjoy games that do that. Uh, some games have reams of instructions and tactics and techniques, and other games just simply say, here's what you're going to do, get ready to get really good at doing it if you want to beat this game, if you want to get high scores in this game. So uh, this is pretty much it. I mean, you're kind of getting the feel here, what my intention is for you to get the feel for you know, I'm turning this, I'm looking for places to put blocks, I'm trying to build combos, I'm trying to get score, because score is something that we all love. 
and uh, you really, really have to start thinking in three dimensions as you move forward in this game. And it's actually challenging. It's amazing uh, that we live in a 3D world, but so much of our day is uh, is really in two dimensions. And I didn't really realize that until so I started playing this game, and, and I kind of started to see, I don't really think in three dimensions like this all that often. You know, I suppose if you were some sort of a, a designer or, you know, engineer, if you worked with AutoCAD every day or, you know, designed things, you maybe you would be a little more accustomed to thinking and, and functioning in all three dimensions, but I'm just not. And uh, I don't know if that's just me and I'm lame or what, but... Uh, this game really opened my eyes to how little I actually spend, a uh, little of my day I spend working in a full three-dimensional environment. Alright, I think we've pretty much seen enough of meditation mode. We're only about halfway through it. So let's go ahead and head out to a normal game. We'll quit out here to the main menu. And uh, we can introduce you to the actual... Uh, tension-filled part of this game, the part that does in fact frustrate me. We're going to go into classic on normal difficulty. I'll do a practice match because I don't want to embarrass myself and lower my online score any more than it already is. So we're going to do level one. Nice and simple. It is just a cube. So some combos are going to jump out right from the beginning. Nice, easy, cool. We like it. And uh, then you're going to have to start thinking gonna have to start thinking and you are gonna have to start building filling in these gaps as you can see here some gaps green green there's a green yellow 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 and you see that the uh, entire structure was gyrating there uh, that is because I'm nearing the titular critical mass and that isn't good and that's the frustrating thing about this game. Much like Tetris, this game has a end. It has a threat of failure, which is something good to have in games. Uh, th threat of failure is very nice. <sighs> Oftentimes games do not have that, but um, at the same time, it's frustrating as hell to just not be able to think fast enough or envision things uh, enough moves ahead in order to make the clears that you need to get the level finished. There we go, that was a nice clear there. And I'm starting to think, do I want to just make simple shapes or do I want to go for score? I think I just want to make lines of three and just get through this damn thing. There we go, pop the blue and the red. Let's see, purple. Again, we are growing, constantly growing, threatening to reach critical mass. I don't like that. We'll get clear there. That was a bad choice with the blue. Yeah, sometimes you just don't get a very good block and you're reaching critical mass and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it because you're not getting what you need. Now it says multiplier ready, so I'm gonna hit my little multiplier here. Uh, yeah, but it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna hit critical mass, and there it is. Yes, that's gonna happen to you quite a bit, and uh, if you're sitting out there and you're really good at critical mass or you're just watching and uh, you are finding combinations that I am missing, shut up because it is a lot easier to watch someone play a game like this than it is to actually play it. So uh, congratulations, you are able to uh, actually see things that are presented on your screen and analyze them while not also manipulating something with your hand. Wonderful. Although I know you guys are all nice, you're all my buddies, you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna make fun of me for missing stuff, right? No one's gonna make fun of me. You guys all like me, we're pals. All right, so we're getting close here. I can s sort of start to taste uh, a bit of victory, and that is generally when things start to go wrong. Uh, again, reaching critical mess. Okay, we can clear that. We can clear that, and we can clear that. All right, we cleared level one, and it only took, what, two or three tries. That's wonderful. Well, it looks like we have lost our connection to the server, we're just going to go ahead and continue without that. As you can see, it took me about a minute to finish that, and uh, that is lovely. I got a 7 
uh, seven combo, so seven pieces uh, clearing all at once. Nice. I likes it. So let's go on to level two, and you can kind of see how things start to change. Now they're starting to expand on the shape and give you more surface area to work with. And you would think that would make it easy. And for the first few seconds of uh, any given level, it does. But very quickly, things change. Uh, because as soon as you start to clear down, uh, it gets more difficult, more and more difficult. And I'm actually doing okay here. Don't want to jinx myself. There you go. One of my most common uh, mishaps, the misplacing of a block. Always nice when that happens. A little clear there. There's that clear. And another. Concentration. It is very difficult to play a game of this type and talk about it. Nice. Okay. Blue. Got that cleared. Red. Get a clear. Orange. And once you're down to just a couple of colors, it just becomes a matter of distributing the blocks and getting your clear. There we go. I had my. Uh, I was building up my time warp to slow down time. Uh, okay, good performance. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care that my performance was only good. I've never gotten anything more than good on any of these maps. So uh, this is pretty much what critical mass is, guys. All I can really say is it gets more complex from here. The levels get different, uh, or the levels get more complex, and there are a couple of different modes uh, that I'm really not going to bother showing you uh, because this game is essentially three-dimensional Tetris Rubik's madness. Uh, if you don't have an idea of what this game is by now, then uh, I could not show you any more. You know, I could show you another thousand hours and you wouldn't understand. So alright guys, this has been Critical Mass. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy. Oh, were you watching during the video? Did you notice that occasionally letters or numbers were appearing? Did you notice that? Well, if you gather all of those letters and numbers, you will have yourself a Steam code for this game. Critical mass. So rewind the video, watch it from the beginning, collect all of the digits, and you can own your own copy of Critical Mass for absolutely free, courtesy of me, Big Dave.